Shalom. All praise is due to Yahawah Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wedash, the bonus of the elect apostle, elders at Great Millstone, everywhere. Shalom to the elect Aki out there doing his work, just doing his work in sincerity and truth and not for vainglory in season, out of season, the uh, elect uh, men, women, and uh, sons and daughters. Uh, yeah, I just want to bring out the scripture. All right. Uh, let me see. Ezekiel, the 36th chapter and the 26th verse. All right. It says, uh, a new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you an heart of flesh. It says a new heart will I give you. Now we know that word heart goes back to the Hebrew lab, which means your mind. And uh, we haven't received that yet. You know, even though you have, uh, you know, the IUIC, uh, ISUPK, talking about, talking about that we're in a new covenant. You know, this hasn't happened yet, you know, you know, this as if we don't have a new heart, you know, now Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, blessed his um, prophets to receive this word, but we still have a stony heart, you know, we're still in his flesh, okay, you know, you know, we, we're not you know, we, we, we still have negative thoughts. We still have wicked thoughts. Okay. You know, and of course, you know, we fight against those wicked thoughts and we refer back unto the scriptures because that's how Yahweh Shai uh, fought against Satan when he was tempted by the devil. All right. So that's what we do. We follow after Yahweh Shai's example. Okay. But we don't have a new heart yet. We don't have a new mind yet. We're still in the stony of mind. Okay. It says a new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Yeah, but we still have the stony heart. That's why we need a deliverer. That's why we need a savior. Which is Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. Okay, because without Yahweh Shai coming to deliver the elect, all right, man, we'll still be in these goddamn stony hearts. We'll we'll still be sinning, going off as we do now, you know, you know, because even our wicked thoughts is wicked, man. Even our evil thoughts is sins, you know. <sighs> You know, you know, so, um, you know, the most I has taken out that stony heart from us. Yes, man, we still, we still go off. We still sin, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, cause we're in his flesh. Paul called the flesh a damn demon, you know? All right. Now in the kingdom, you know, when the elect is beamed up, they're going to change into that angelic body, right? Right? You know, we, we, we're still going to eat food. We're still going to have sex. You know, we're still going to have seed, you know? But we're going to be like angels on the earth, okay? The bodies of angels on the earth, okay? All right? It says... And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Now, you have people, you have uh, the IUIC, the ISUPK talking about we're in a new covenant. No, bro, we ain't in a new covenant, man. We ain't in a new covenant, bro. You know, because here it is, you know, 
you got dudes still doing all kind of wickedness. Okay? So how the hell are we going to have... How the hell are we in a new covenant if, if dudes are still doing all kind of wickedness? All right? No, man. You know, you got Nate. He want to be praised. You know, he want to lift himself up. That's a stony heart. You know? General Johanna... He wants to be praised. He wants to be lifted up. You know? You know, you got Nate, you know, hey, we believe that he sold out. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know? So, that's a stony heart. You know? Because all, all the praise goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know? You know, even within... Uh, Great millstone, man. Brothers get into it certain times, man. You know? Now, of course, through the spirit, you know, we, um, you know, we, uh, repent. You know what I'm saying? You know, we repent from that, you know, and get right with our brother. Or that's what we're supposed to do, right? So that goes show you, man, we still have a stony heart. You know what I'm saying? You know? That this is a future prophecy, okay? And I will give you an heart of flesh. And that's and that's when we're gonna be in the new covenant. I Meaning we ain't gonna sin no more, man. We don't gonna have no more negative thoughts. We ain't gonna have to fight nothing, man. What the scriptures say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities. You know? So we fighting against those demons that put wicked thoughts in our mind so how the hell are we in the new covenant no man we ain't in the new covenant yet and let's prove it all right well let's let's read it uh let's read it 27 verse and i will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes man listen we we're rehearsing the righteous acts right now now we can't fully do the righteous acts, which are the law, statutes, and commandments, because we in Esau's rulership. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because we in Esau's rulership. But the fact that we have these stony hearts, we can, we go off from time to time. You know what I'm saying? You know? We go, and I ain't talking about popping another man's woman, which that does happen, okay? And it has happened, all right? You know, but I'm talking about just some negative thoughts, man, you know, and still just going off, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Yeah. You know, because. Listen, man, really, to be honest with you. <laughs> Look, we, our, our thoughts, our thoughts betray us, man, because we're in this goddamn flesh. We got that stony heart, man. We still have them wicked thoughts, man, you know. But in the kingdom, we ain't going to have them goddamn wicked thoughts, man. We ain't going to have to fight no wicked thoughts. Period. Point blank. We're going to be completely righteous. Okay. We're going to completely do the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It says, and ye shall, excuse me, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, which is Israel. Okay. And ye shall be my people and I shall be your power, your God. I will also save you from all your uncleanness. And I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. Oh, man. So see, so this is right now we in our punishment. So this prophecy hasn't happened yet. OK. All right. So let's go to some other scriptures. Uh, Let's go to. um. <laughs> Let's go to 
Jeremiah 17. No, actually, let's go to Hebrews 8 chapter in the 13 in the uh, 13 verse. It's possible to hard put the scripture out. All right. Um, Hebrews. Hebrews. Eighth chapter. And a 13 verse. Excuse me, in a 13 verse. Hebrews, the eighth chapter, in the 13 verse. Okay. It says, And that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Yeah, because we broke. Oh, we broke the covenant that Yahweh made with the nation of Israel, man. Okay? We already broke that covenant. It says, It says, And that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Right, because we're going to come the nation of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to come under the new covenant. And that new covenant is what? The most High going to take out the stony heart, uh, prone to going off, prone into sin, and put in the heart of flesh, which will never sin. Okay? We're going to be perfect, and we're going to do the law perfectly, and we're never going to sin again. Okay? So in, we're in between the old covenant and the new covenant. All right. Okay. All right. So we're in between waiting for the new covenant. The old covenant passeth away. All right. Because why Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh going to change us and give us that heart of flesh, which is the new covenant. And we're never going to go off again. We're never gonna, we're never going to have a wicked thought again. Okay. We're never going to sin again. Which is breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, go to another scripture. Uh, Jeremiah seventeen and nine. You stuck them out day in a new covenant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I. Okay. Uh, let me see. Jeremiah 17 chapter and the ninth verse. Okay. It says, The heart, which is your mind, in a Hebrew lab, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So, how the hell are we? In a new covenant, man. Okay? How? You know? Even though Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai set his prophets up to teach this truth, right? And to go out there and teach this truth on the highways and byways and put up the shows and to rehearse the righteous acts. Don't mean, man, we in a new covenant, man. No, we're not. The scriptures say the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Okay? All kind of fucking wicked thoughts come in our head, man. You know? So we're still sinners. That's why we need Yahweh Shai to save us, man. Okay? All right, so let's go to another scripture. Uh, let's go to... Um, let me see. 1 Corinthians 15 and 2. Did I already read that? Now, let me see. All right. Uh, let me see. I think it's 2 Corinthians. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, hold up. Yeah, that's First Corinthians fifteen and fifty-two. Okay. You know, so this hasn't happened yet, you know. It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to be changed, how? That's when we're going to receive the new covenant. In other words, we're going to be the elect, Salakia. The elect is going to be beamed up. The elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. That's the only people that's going to be delivered and changed. Okay? Then that's when you're going to get that heart of flesh. Okay? The Most High is going to change our whole... He's going to change our spirit, man. Okay? And he's going to change our body. He's going to change the elect spirit. And he's, going, and he's going to change the elect's body, okay, into that uh, angelic body that's living on the earth. And he's going to change the elect's heart, which is their mind, okay? All right? And that's when they're going to have the new covenant. I mean, they're never going to sin again, and they're never going to go off, man. And they're never going to have a wicked thought, okay? You know? So um, I hope you've been edified, you know, uh, and uh, we're not in a new covenant yet, but uh, the elect, starting with the elect of you so-called Nicholas Latinos and Americans, you're going to get the new um, uh, covenant first, which is your mind is going to be uh, uh, set up to do righteousness. Amen. Because even the scriptures tell you that um, the creature... Uh, uh, what does scripture say? The creature was subject unto vanity, which is going off sinning, but not willingly. Because we're in the spirit world, you know, we righteous, but we get on this earth. Hey, you know, the most I set us up to sin. Why? So we can have a deliverer. We can have a savior, which is Yahweh Shai to deliver us from our sins. Okay. Hope you're edified with that. Shalom.